Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Bone All Day here, back with another video. And today, we are gonna be doing um, the shooting guards today. So, these are my shooting guards. I did point guards. Make sure you um, subscribe and check out that video, my last video, point guards. So, like the video um, and comment. And yeah, so let's get right into it. I'm gonna explain which uh, players, why they're there, and yeah. So, Wayne Ellington is in the low average. He's just, he's okay. I mean, not too special. He knocked down some threes, but not. That's about it. Killian Hayes, I, uh, I think at the end of the season he could be average, but it's based on right now, and uh, yeah. He hasn't been great, but we'll see. Devin Vassell, I also think he could have a breakout season at him, obviously. And maybe become, like, above average, but I don't know. Josh Richardson, ever since he left the Heat, he hasn't been that good. Nikhil Alexander Walker, he's fine. I mean, I, he could be right there, though. Yeah, I'm gonna put him right there. Average, we have Dante DiVincenzo. I mean, solid, you know, he just won a championship, but, well, he wasn't really playing, so, huh. Uh, we have Desmond Bain, he's a good shooter, you know, decent defender. We have Tim Hardaway Jr., uh, he can score, you know, I mean, yeah, um, Will Barton, I mean, well, well, Barton's okay, not very good. Next and above average, we got Seth Curry. He, in the playoffs, was amazing. But Ben Simmons was not. So, yeah. Joe Green, um, he hasn't played a game yet. Maybe he's an all-star cap. Um, cap um, we also got Jalen Suggs. Maybe he's a all-star cap there's player. Um we also got Malik Beasley. Um and uh yeah he averaged like eighteen I think it was. I don't know. But he was pretty solid. I mean pretty good score. Same with Evan Fournier. Evan Fournier <coughs> is now on the Knicks, but he got paid. Um like nineteen million a year, which might have been a little overpaid, but yeah, it, He's still pretty solid. He's above average. Jay, I mean, what am I saying? Uh, Tyrus Halliburton, uh, you know, he had pretty good rookie season. I think he's a little bit underrated. Uh, next we have Gary Trent Jr., one of my favorite players in the league. Um, I think one day he could be like that. Like, on the same level as these guys. Um,. We also got Bogdanovich, he's fine, um, in score. Victor Oladipo, he's injured right now, but maybe he'll be above average, maybe he'll go back to All-Star, I don't know. But for now, All-Star Cowboy. Um, next we got Colin Sexton, um, he averaged like 24 points. Um, <clears throat> so it's pretty good, um, but yeah, we, I don't think I would put him in All-Star or anything. He, he needs to, like, lead the Cavs to a better record. Next we have Kyrus LeVert. You know, he was balling out. Pacers have so many injuries every single year. It's like a joke, kind of. Um, <clears throat> but very solid player. Above average. Oh man, that's that's a bit too high. But like, I'm I'm sorry. We'll, we'll lower some guys like Seth Curry, who 48. Yeah, that's a bit better. That's a bit better. Maybe 48. Okay. What was I? Terry Rozier got paid a lot, and you know he's a pretty good scorer for the Hornets. I mean, it's probably like he's probably the starting shooting guard. Yeah. Um. Yeah, he's pretty solid. CJ McCollum, in the playoffs, he was not that great, but 
I think overall he's an all, almost an all star. Um, in all stars, I'm where I, oh man, I, I'm gonna put him in superstar. Uh, all star Donovan Mitchell, uh, just averaged 26 points, like five assists. You know, he's that's an underrated part of his game, his playmaking. Uh, his defense has been overrated, but yeah, um. Bradley Beal, um, you know, he's, he's, like, very good at scoring, just averaged 30 points, so, can't disrespect him or anything, uh, next we have Shea, you know, he, um, uh, is cool, uh, the Thunder are gonna be a bad team, but they got a lot of picks, so, we'll see, we'll see how that goes, um, Devin Booker, uh, you know, just lost in the finals. Um, he, he's good. Um, he's kind of the same tier as Mitchell, Beal, and him, I guess. Um, and yeah, Zach Levine, probably like the fourth best player in here. Um, you know, he's really pretty good um and i'm excited to see the bulls so yeah this season obviously getting to run in Orlando. next we got clay thompson so i'm doing it based on like how he was before so he's just an all-star as always um and then superstar obviously james Harden, and then paul george i feel like this season, I know it's based off right now, but he did do pretty good in the playoffs, so I'll give him that. But, I feel like this season, with Kawhi being out, he can be that number one guy and go back to back to MVP mode, like, with the Thunder. Um, and he could really be an all, a superstar, so, yeah. This is the end of the video. Make sure to subscribe, like the video, comment down below. And, uh, yeah, so, bye.